What's up everybody? It's Levi from LeviLassic.com. Thanks again for joining me today and I just want to provide you all with an update. I am now over 40 years old. I, I turned 40 about six months ago, but it's been almost another year since uh, I made all of my videos last year. And last year whenever I made all my videos I had hit the five year mark of zero signs and symptoms of ulcerative colitis. Well, another year has gone by. I've surpassed 40 years of age and I still feel just as good as I, as I have in the past five years. Now, a little background on my story, most of you know, but if you're new to this channel, you know, I acquired ulcerative colitis back in 2005 while I was deployed uh, to Iraq. And I started having first signs and symptoms there, although I didn't really know what it was and I, I wasn't, didn't really want to tell anybody, uh, even though I did see a military doctor, but they didn't really uh, give me any specific diagnosis. So whenever I got home, I went in and out of remission for four years, but I was also really stubborn, so I never saw a doctor at that point. And so it would just come and go, and I just tried to tough it out, even though I was experiencing the urgency and the bleeding and things like that, discomfort in the, the stomach and in the bowel, but I still just went on with my life, uh, mainly because I was a little stubborn. Well, in 2009, it finally caught up to me to where I just couldn't ignore it anymore, so I finally told the doctor, he immediately referred me to a GI doctor, and that's whenever I got my official diagnosis of ulcerative colitis. And I was fine, you know, I took the conventional route, I got on medication, and that was okay for me. It suppressed the symptoms enough until 2013 happened, and I became extremely ill. At one point, uh, I just got so sick that I lost 50 pounds in a single month and I was bedridden. I mean, I was, it was the most horrific experience in my life. And I would have rather been spent a, a full year in Iraq again than, than having to go the pain and discomfort and the suffering that I went through for those three months whenever uh, I lost 50 pounds, but then also at the same time was having terrible, terrible cramps and bowel movements constantly. I was in the bathroom up to 24 times a day couldn't hold in any nutritional value, couldn't hold in any food or water. I was dehydrated several times. I mean, the list goes on and on. And it came to a point to where the surgeons told me that, or not the surgeons, but the GI doctors, uh, after my colonoscopy, suggested that I remove my colon to, com to cure myself. That was their recommendation, was just cut out my entire colon and that would cure me. Well, fortunately for me, I was able to find some natural doctors at the right time and those natural doctors five of them to be exact uh, finding the right doctors at the right time took me on a whole different journey and I was able to recover without medication or surgery uh, within a year actually it took a full year to recover and so that's what we're kind of uh, talking about today here a little bit is that if you're thinking about the natural path. This is what I'm asking you to understand is that the natural path is the more difficult path. It's very hard and it's it's unconventional so to speak, right? The, the conventional path is to get on medication, stay on medication, and as any medical doctor will tell you that you will have this condition for the rest of your life. Well, I'm, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a licensed health professional, but I want to just say that I don't buy that. I don't buy that at all. And all the people I've talked to online, in my experience or in person, and I've talked to hundreds uh, that have dealt with this situation, the people that stay on medication, they will likely have this issue for the rest of their lives uh, because most medication just suppresses those symptoms. Uh, but the people that have actually cured themselves have done so naturally. But if you talk to those people that cure themselves naturally, they all have a different process and they've all gone through their own path and it's taking them sometimes a short amount of time, sometimes a long amount of time. It just depends. I've known people that have uh, healed themselves naturally within two, uh, two weeks to, to 30 days. Uh, in my case, it took me a full year. Some people, it takes them a year and a half, two years. It just depends. But this is the key. The key is that not only is this physical, but this is a mental and emotional struggle as well. And so you have to be prepared. If you're going to go the natural route, you've got to get yourself in the right mindset because emotionally and physically, it is going to be tough and it's going to be hard to try to figure out what works well 
for you and your body and that's the thing is that no matter what you do you've got to uh, first of all seek out answers from other people that have healed themselves naturally there's plenty of people on YouTube that you can find uh, including myself that that have done so and they're all going to have a different path and a different answer and that may not work exactly for you but one of those ideas or one of those processes might help you get to where you need to be and that's the thing is that you just have to really experiment now I also recommend you do this with the help of a natural doctor if you can find one in your area there should be someone in your area that is a naturopathic doctor a chiropractor that practices natural medicine a holistic healer or something like that if not then I would look to uh, the closest major city that you're near or something like that that you could find somebody there that maybe you can travel an hour or two away or maybe take a short flight or even fly across the country. I've flown all over the place to find the doctors that help me get better. But that's the key thing is that I want you to know that you can beat this. You can beat this issue and, and it is curable in my, in my mind and in my life I've seen that so I want you to understand that if you're going to take this route you've got to be prepared for it because it is not considered the conventional route so you've got to make sure you have a good support system in place as well because you know medical doctors uh, may not agree with you taking a natural path or they may you know want to work with you and I, I think that's great if you have a, a medical doctor that is naturally minded or willing to work with you and, and help possibly wean you off medication or something like that, that's a great medical doctor. Uh, in my experience, the, I dealt with four different GI doctors and every single one of them told me the exact same thing. They put me on the exact same medications, they put me on the exact same protocol, they told me the exact same things. They said, I will have this uh, condition for the rest of my life. There is no cure. So. Uh, it wasn't until I went to the natural path or saw natural doctors that they had a lot more hope for me. They actually explained different pathways and how things worked in my body and how we can get to the root cause versus just trying to suppress the symptoms. And so you have to know that you can beat this. Whatever you're dealing with, you can beat this, but you've got to be prepared. You've got to go in it uh, with an open mind and you've got to do a lot of experimentation and you've got to listen to your body. You've got to understand what works and what doesn't work and you've got to figure that out uh, you know in a relative amount of time that works for you you know sometimes uh, the first supplements that I tried took two weeks now that felt like an eternity to me whenever I was really really sick so you know the thing is is that you just got to do uh, what works for you but the only way to do that is to uh, experiment and try to find those different ways so I would like to say that uh, if you're looking for some answers or uh, you know something I don't know if I've got all the answers but I've just come out with this new book I Heal Naturally and You Can Too and I want to recommend that you get it this is this documents my journey it took me a full year to recover and I want you to know that everyone's path is going to be different but I talk about the five key doctors that I found that helped me uh, during my year of recovery and that's the key thing you've got to understand is that uh, it may not be just uh, one doctor it may not just be one month or six months you have gotta do whatever it takes you have to do whatever it takes and that's what I did uh, the first doctor led me to the next doctor that doctor led me to the next doctor that doctor led me and I was open I was open to hearing what each of those doctors had to say and they all had a different path and a different protocol and a different uh, method that they use to help me get better now they may be able to help you as well I don't know but the only thing is is that you've got to try to find somebody in your area or you might want to travel to one of the doctors that I mentioned in this book uh, actually I mentioned four out of five one did not want to be mentioned but that's okay because I'm pretty sure the other four can help you as well so I'll put the link below for this book it's also going to be on Amazon but this gives you all the detail. I detail very extensively my journey uh, over that year of recovery of what it took to heal naturally without medication or surgery. You can do it. Uh, you, you've just got to figure out 
your own path and how to make it happen. But I believe in you and I, I know you can get better and trust me, I know exactly where you're at and how you feel. This is a terrible, terrible disease, but you can get rid of it. You can move on with your life. And it's more important uh, to really strive towards that and to have that goal and to have that vision because I know you can achieve it. So I wanna thank you for your time today. Again, my book, I Heal Naturally and You Can Too is available on Amazon. It'll be in the link below. Uh, please uh, check it out if you want to know more. Also, check out my website, levilastic.com. You can email me or message me on there as well. Uh, if you want to talk some more, I'll be happy to help in any way I can. So in the meantime, stay healthy, my friends, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks again. Have a great day.